Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks. Today we're making one of my daddy's favorites, chocolate covered cherries with milk chocolate. The first thing you do when you make chocolate covered cherries is you drain your cherries. Let them drain for at least a couple of hours, okay? So you wanna get cherries with the stems on. In order to find these, I had to go where the ice cream is. You know, the ice cream toppings and the cones and stuff like that. If you just go on the fruit aisle of your grocery, lots of times the cherries will not have stems. So remember that if you can't find them with stems, to look wherever the ice cream condiments are in the store. And of course, some of these won't have a stem, probably. So you get to eat those. We got a, quite a few misfits in there. See, this one's just saying, eat me, eat me. That's what I did. I love cherries. So you're gonna let these sit out on a paper towel for two hours. And it takes a little time to make chocolate covered cherries because they're delicate. But the, boy, are they delicious. This is one of my daddy's favorite things every Christmas is chocolate-covered cherries. All right. After your cherries have set out a couple of hours, you're going to mix up a powdered sugar mixture. You're going to use about three tablespoons of butter, about three tablespoons of corn syrup, and two cups of powdered sugar. So... It's three tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of corn syrup, and two cups of powdered sugar. And we're going to blend that well and then we're gonna form it around these cherries. obviously stuck to the sides of my mixer. So I'm going to scrape it. I say we add a little extra. Another tablespoon of butter and another tablespoon of syrup. Should do it. Yep, that's going to do it. So it would be four and four. So you can see how that looks. So you're gonna take about, let's see how much it says. I think it said a half a teaspoon. Take a piece of parchment. And I'm gonna pick these up. i put this here. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna take a half a teaspoon of your powdered sugar mixture. and you're going to wrap it around each cherry. So you can powder your fingers if you want to. And then you're gonna chill these for a couple of hours before you dip them in your chocolate. So try to get it on there about even. There you have it. So each cherry you're gonna do that way. 
as evenly as you can and just do them all that way. Once you get all your cherries coated with your powdered sugar mixture, then you're, we're just going to set them in the refrigerator for a couple of hours and we'll come back and melt some chocolate and get these suckers ready. These are going to be delish, delish. All right, we got two left. Chris, help me. This takes a few minutes and you've got to be a little bit patient and really try to do a good job pushing it around the cherry and getting it around there and making it really pretty and round because when you dip your cherry in the chocolate, you want it to be beautiful. See how pretty they look when you get them done? They're so pretty, you don't even want to dip them. They're beautiful. So it's the perfect amount. That half a teaspoon is the perfect amount to go around these cherries. But my daddy absolutely loves cherries, chocolate-covered cherries. He's diabetic now, but he will definitely get a couple of these this Christmas. So I will dip these and store them in the refrigerator until we head down there for Christmas, and I'll put them in an airtight jar. Now, all candy you should put in something airtight. Either you don't want too much moisture getting into it or you don't want the moisture to get out of it. So just you're always better off just by putting your candy in a good airtight jar. And right now we've got to get these in the refrigerator and we're going to chill them for about three hours before we dip them into our chocolate so they'll be nice and cold and that chocolate will seal really quick and you got to make sure and get a good seal on it too. Now you can make these with semi-sweet chocolate or you can make them with milk chocolate. We prefer milk chocolate, even if we buy them at the store. We like the milk chocolate covered cherries. I have got Hershey's milk chocolate chips and we're just gonna place these in the microwave and put it on about one minute intervals, mix it, and then we're gonna dip our cherries. And you're better off putting it in something small and tall so that the cherry can dip down in there instead of having it in a shallow bowl. It'll just do better. Okay, I'm desperate. I'm gonna add a little shortening to this because it is just too thick for me to make a pretty cherry with. So if you add just a little bit of shortening, it will thin up the chocolate enough that you can dip your cherry. And this is what I do when I do chocolate covered strawberries. Now some of y'all, your grandparents or mothers may have used paraffin wax, but paraffin wax is really not supposed to be, it's not an edible thing. I actually took these cherries and sealed the top before I dipped them. But once we get the chocolate thinner, you're gonna see that it's just going to coat so much easier. And let it drip off and just keep heating up your chocolate over and over until you get them all coated. Delicious. Roll it around in there, y'all. And you're going to have to heat up your chocolate a good bit, y'all, because these cherries do cool it down quite quickly. A delicious cherry. Now the next day, these will be more liquidy on the inside. But oh my gosh, everybody's already eating them. They're so good. It's delicious. It's just delicious. There has never been a Christmas that I remember without having a chocolate covered cherry. It was my daddy's favorite. And we would always buy the Brock's cordial chocolate covered cherries. And he liked the milk chocolate ones. He wouldn't eat the dark chocolate ones. And sometimes they're hard to find. I don't know why they sell the dark chocolate ones now more than they sell the milk chocolate ones. But these are milk chocolate. That chocolate's got a little bit of salt in it. And with that sweet, Oh, it's so good, y'all. It was worth every minute that me and Chris had to sit there and pat that powdered sugar around that little cherry 
and heat up that chocolate over and over to get it just right, boy, is it worth it in the end. Y'all, take some time out and make you some good old chocolate covered cherries this Christmas. Let it be a tradition at your house. Thanks for watching Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook our daddy's favorite Christmas candy. Bye, y'all. Love ya.